Hi, right, thanks for clicking again. Time for another review, and today it's going to be about this. What is it? Watch this. <laughs> Review today is going to be about this little mod here. It's actually a Caravella, and no, it's not an original. It's actually a clone. Now, I did actually look at the original on the website and uh, looked at the price, and you got it. It's way up there in the clouds. And at the end of the day, uh, it's not something I'm going to fork out just for the sake of doing a review and I watched a few other people's reviews on this device on YouTube and on the web and um, it's sort of mixed feelings about it anyway this is it this is it here. it's actually the 18350 size I didn't say I wanted the 18350 size because I, I want to sort of hold it in the hand there you can't see it just a part sticking out of the top I'm not a fan of uh, big batteries you know the 18500 the 18 uh, uh, 650 um, they're always too long and I can't imagine sticking that in my pocket while I'm out and about uh, vaping even in, in, in my car just a bit of an awkward size it's just just my preference you know there's loads of people out there I love that size mod me the smaller it is the better it is so anyway let's get back to it uh, basically it is it's a stainless steel tube uh, what you pour battery in this is what I always say about mechanical mods so unlike uh, a variable voltage or regulated that sort of thing uh, as soon as you put a battery in this and as soon as you start using it obviously the battery starts depleting quite quick uh, but you know you've got enough batteries around it isn't a big issue so the first thing I noticed about this mod, and I'll show you close-ups as we go along, is that it's absolutely, it's perfect. I mean, it, the, the machining on it, is no sharp edges anywhere, everything's nice and tight. Uh, the threads, the threads are something else. And don't forget, this is a clone. It's not an original. Um, and this particular model is stainless steel and brass at the bottom obviously you can get the clones in any design you want you can get a brush steel chromed uh, you can get uh, a, a brass body with stainless steel bottom etc etc so we'll start breaking it down uh, but before we go any further the first thing you want to, to point out to you is actually the fire button it's probably one of the best fire buttons i've come across yet because once you've got it in your hand like that it's just a matter of your little finger pressing it against it and away you vape the second thing about the fire button is the locking ring unbelievable i mean it really is unbelievable I'll show you a close-up of that basically all we're doing is we you, you're turning it anti-clockwise sorry you're turning it clockwise to lock it into position and you turn it anti-clockwise to unlock it and there it's firing uh, and the good thing about it is that when you turn it anti-clockwise um, it doesn't it's not easy to sort of undo the full base the, the full base doesn't seem to come off straight away if you understand what I'm saying you've really got to tighten that bottom ring up and you, you carry on turning it around and there it goes now on the original this is the only thing I can find what's different so far is on the original the, the sensor pin in the bottom firing button is brass now this looks like stainless steel it could actually be brass which is chrome painted uh, chrome plated I've got no idea it's something that at this moment I'm not going to start scratching just to see if that's the case so I'll put that down and then we're going to take off the top I mean just look just I mean, if you was here and you just felt them threads they're absolutely unbelievable they're perfect no grittiness to them no not loose um, as smooth as anything I mean really as smooth as anything so there's the top as you can see a center firing pin 
Now the difference I've seen on this straight away compared to the original is the original seems to have uh, a slotted end down there uh, so you can adjust it. Uh, however, I'm noticing the top of this one it's got a slotted end there so maybe you can adjust it that way. And on the original it comes with I think three pins, three spare pins depending on what battery you're going to use. But if you're using an 18350 battery you can't really go wrong. Uh, the machining on the top again as you can see absolutely perfect made to fit any 510 uh, device that you're going to put on there and you could always put uh, an adapter on if you want to use something like uh, an EVOD uh, that sort of thing um, whatever and then we'll have a look at the tube there's the tube smooth as anything threads inside absolutely gorgeous we're going to start screwing it back together just, just there just so I can point a few other things out um, the next thing we're going to be looking at on here is actually, I'll show you the close up of it. There's the engraving on there. You can see it, Caravella with a bolt on the top. More or less the same as the original. Uh, and on the back, you've got the engraving. I think it says Pedro. And on the front, a serial number. None of this means anything to anybody who's buying a clone. They just want something to look like the original uh, and most people buy clones usually for one reason it's usually to save some money in the pocket uh, they can't afford the expense of, uh, of the original if you understand what I'm saying and we we just jump onto that for a minute the original it's expensive I mean it's well always getting near it's getting creeping up to like 200 euros on on their site and we ask ourselves a question, is it worth that? Well, of course it's going to be worth that. The problem is, is we can't all afford that. And I think the reason why they set the benchmark for these items uh, so expensive is usually because they can't supply the demand. I mean, you know, if they were selling them as cheap as fast tech, there's no way on this planet they'd be geared up to produce the thousands of mods that would have to be made to meet that demand. So, back to the mod again. What we're going to do now is I'm going to stick a battery in. Just an ordinary uh, 18350 battery. And I'm going to screw it back together. There we go. Now, one thing I've noticed is that it's a slight, and I mean a really slight gap. It's, it's maybe... 0.25 of a, a millimeter that means much to you uh, something i can live with now for the sake of this review i'm going to give it a couple of h now and all i'm going to use is an rda an rda is what i've been using recently to do reviews uh, i don't see the point in putting something fancy on the top because it could be that what's making a mod feel good you understand what i oh, should I say work correctly or whatever anyway this uh, all I'm going to do is screw an RDA on there. I've actually put a few drops of uh, my favourite liquid in there, which is uh, BB4 from uh, ooh, Bumblebee Liquids. I'm losing it. I'm losing it today. Basically, it's because I haven't got a lot of time to do a review, but I am doing. And you like that tip? I mean, just look at that tip. Absolutely gorgeous. I got the tip from a mate. He bought it for himself. I felt so sorry for me that he let me have it. Well, actually, I still got to pay for it. Thanks, Pete. Uh, so there it is. Basically, I'll un undo it at the bottom so we can we can fire away. And we'll give it a, a couple of uh, toots and see how it performs. Need I say more? I don't need to say anything else. It's a clone, it's not the original. Maybe the original performs a lot better, but I mean, how much better do you want it to perform? I mean, that's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it really is. I mean, might be the liquid that I'm vaping, I don't know. It might be this little, very, very cheap RDA that I'm using at the top. But at the end of the day, it's on a clone mod, the Caravella. To me, worth every single penny what I paid for it. 
uh, looks nice and sexy could I make any changes on it no no that that mod does exactly what it's supposed to do the firing button oh, I mean you know excellent you know no, no no worries about that at all can I see anything happening to it in the future no well made mod stainless steel body it's a dull stainless steel so I'm not getting loads of fingerprints all over it the the brass at the bottom maybe that'll tarnish with age but you know I like tarnished brass it looks well sometimes doesn't it just one other thing I'd like to point out with the uh, Caravella is if you go to Caravella I think it's dot PT to Portugal um, you'll see that they do uh, basically a, a, a clear demiser or a, a top for the Caravella uh, real special look I should imagine it's really really good uh, no way I'm ever going to find out unless I fork out the amount what they want for it um, so therefore I won't be doing a review on that but the only way you can buy it is if you've got a genuine Caravella and I mean it has to be genuine so basically if you've got a, a clone don't even bother trying to order it you'll just get a kickback uh, and when you order one and if you have got an original they will match up your serial number on your device with the top just nice to know so as far as this review goes that's it for me the Carabella absolutely excellent is a clone nothing else to say please if you've got any questions or comments about this device leave them in a box below and please please subscribe to my channel because you never know the next thing that I do might be of great interest to you anyway thanks for watching see ya Boom, take it, 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 bo